Hi guys, Andy here with my Samsung Galaxy Note 5, my Captain America stickered up Note 5. So I brought on the cap himself to help me through this because I'm a little bit worried. I'm always a little bit worried when I'm sort of flashing a device, um, especially when it's such a fresh download and not really many people have tried it. But there is a Marshmallow uh, ROM has made its way onto the internet. I think it's from like Cambodia or something like that. Um, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and give it a go. It is going to wipe my device. I've backed up the bits and pieces that I believe I need to back up. Most things are in the cloud these days, so we should be good to go. I've also I've downloaded Odin. I'll drop a link uh, in the video description for that. Okay, well, I thought the normal was more files than that. Fine, not a problem. And then we've also got the actual the ROM itself. Uh, so let's extract to there. So it is a good sort of almost a, well, yeah, almost a two gig download, I believe. But it is an official ROM, hence we shouldn't need to root. Um, we should be able to just flash it straight off with Odin. I need so this is our actual, this is our download, our ROM, APPL, CPCSC, and they should match up. So, desktop, I forgot which one I click now, which did I click? BL, BL, oh, AP, AP, we've got all the, uh, all the documents in place, I'm just going to unplug it again actually for a second, because um, I almost forgot, let's put it in there, I've got to put the phone into download mode which I believe is volume down, power, and the home button at the same time. Volume up to continue. There we are, download mode. Plug back in. Oops. And start. So we'll see now progress bar on the device and progress bar on Odin 3 on the desktop. This will probably take, well, a good few minutes and then, it'll, then it will automatically reboot so I'll come back as it's rebooting. There we go, the process itself has finished. It says pass on the desktop. So now I'm going to unplug again at this point. Because Odin has effectively finished and done its job. Let's wait and see. Installing system update. So we hope and pray. Oh. Quite know what that meant. So we might have a bit of a wait again. Oh, only got as far as thirty-two percent. Is it going to come back and carry on from there? Or oh, we're we're booting up. Here's the the flash screen. I'm actually quite excited. We've been waiting a long time for Marshmallow. Well, I say a long time, you know. Good few months everyone's been moaning, where is it? Where's Marshmallow? It's finally here. So it's quite a big it's quite a big day for a Note 5 owner. We just hope to God we don't get stuck in a boot loop or something like that. It's just felt a small vibration at that point. I don't know what that was. Whoa. So uh, I'm assuming this is kind of the the bloatware basically that comes with this ROM unfortunately. A couple more vibrations there I could feel. It's not the most exciting thing to watch is it particularly, I apologise, but I'm not sure I want to skip things just so you can see what's happening. So you'll know what to expect when you're doing it on your device. Okay. Uh, 
Right, so you don't need to see the setup process. I'll get that done quick. All right, here we are. So it's taken, oh. Uh, it's taken a f good few minutes to go through the sort of the sign in, the restore process. Um, it's now restoring the applications I had installed before. Um, right. So right away, you see there at the top, new marshmallow looking, whoops, marshmallow looking uh, toggles. Let's go into settings. Let's just double check about device, software info, Android version 6.0.1. There we go. Um, at this point, I don't know entirely what the differences will be. Um, okay. Oh, so there's one. The obviously the marshmallow differences we know. So one is asking for permissions as you go. So I wonder if we open the camera. Oh no, I thought he might ask. Can we use the camera? I wouldn't imagine much has changed in the camera app. And I would say, I would say it's all quite smooth and slick. I mean, it's obviously it's downloading and installing apps, so that's likely to slow down a little bit. But anyway, there we go. So that is Marshmallow running on a Samsung Galaxy Note 5 at long last. My name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon.